All right, I'm just going to open the app here, touch the icon, create an alliance with the National Audubon Society. This works not only on iPhones, but on iPod Touches as well. Go right into the application. Several uh, varieties of search. Quick guide is shape, browse by family, taxonomic, browse by common name, or advanced search where you can put a bunch of variables in, including uh, a zip code, very cool feature. 734 birds, alphabetical order by first name or last name. Let's just go to Acorn Woodpecker and I'll show you some of the functionality. We're looking at an image here. Let's go to the range map. This is the desert southwest on the coast of California. Let's go to this other great function here. This is voice. 2,300 calls on this particular application. Description. You can go as deep as you want here. Not only field marks, but other information about habitat, range, discussion, natural history discussion. What a remarkable bird. This is one of the functions I like the most. It's this magnifier. It allows me to get in and really get up close on field marks. Also this great uh, feature here, similar species, things that are similar to the particular bird that we were looking at. Let's look at the quick guide here. What do you think? This is by shape. So if you're inexperienced, but you see a bird that you think looks like something, you can go in here and go, aha, let's try this hummingbird. This is, let's go into the Anna's hummingbird. Even though I'm in the east, I've traveled to the west, so I know that the Anna's is a western bird along the coast of California. This is the male. If I tap that, you can actually see the caption tells me it's an adult male. I go to similar species, this should give me a bunch of hummingbirds. Yeah, and indeed it does. If I'm in the east, because I know this already, there's only one hummingbird that uh, breeds and nests in the east, generally, and that's the ruby-throated hummingbird. Here's a female at the nest, feeding nestlings, a mature male at a feeder. And again, all of this functionality is available for every species, and not only for birds, but for uh, mammals, trees, wildflowers as well. To learn more or to buy the app, just click on the iTunes button on this page.